What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We got some exclusive, sort of, kind of, maybe, news on the new Monster Hunter class. Let's get into the video. Welcome back. So if you want to skip past this part, feel free. Uh, the screen will change to a uh, image of text, so you can skip forward if you want to just get right to the news or you can listen to me talk about uh recent things that happened on the channel if you'll want to all right let's get into it so i've been uploading a lot of videos to this channel for three or four years now and i've never got near these as much attention as i have recently i remember very vividly uploading a video and getting zero comments on it and now i upload a video and it can get hundreds of comments and I read all those, even on really old videos, four years old videos. If you go leave a comment on that video, I will read it. And if I feel like it needs a reply, I will reply to it. So yeah, I read every comment that's on it, all my videos to this day. And it's I still find it very weird when I get a response from basically a lot of the community, including Pisces himself, a class designer for Adventure Quest Worlds replying to videos I make. I'm still not used to that. I mean, it's really cool that I get such a huge response every time I upload a video, but I'm still kind of in that mindset that, hey, this video might not get any comments at all. Um, so I probably should adjust how I make my videos and not make as many mistakes when I upload videos. I got to put more time and effort into that. Now I do YouTube for fun. It's not, it doesn't pay well. It's not a full time job or anything. Uh, so yeah, it's something I do my free time for fun and when I get a, a negative or positive response, I take that into consideration and to the other videos I make. And of course, I probably won't make a video of a speculation like that. Or if I do, dear God, if I do, <laughs> it's going to be very blatant that and very obvious that that speculation i feel like yesterday's video it was not obvious enough to a lot of people people took that as fact as soon as i said it uh that was not my intention my intention was that for that to be a speculation video of sorts well Pi what pisces said in the video or in the um screenshot i used for the topic of the video was that void high lord was getting changes uh to be the same as monster hunter class and i'll talk about that because i have more news about that in a few seconds here um the new monster hunter class isn't out yet so he said it was the void high lord and monster hunter class were going to be pretty similar uh i took that as him saying that they're going to nerf void high lord now he did say that they were thinking 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 not going to thinking of changing void high lord making so the class doesn't have as much defense and but more uh, damage so that would be a good change in my opinion if Pisces cares about my opinion which he probably doesn't but in my opinion that would be a good change lowering the defense and upping the damage I mean I don't really think you need to up the damage but maybe if you just want to lower the defense that'd be cool um I also saw a lot of people said Void Hyler needed to be buffed I don't know why they're saying that I, I don't know where that's coming from a lot of people said that on the video yesterday too. So that's my response to the video yesterday. Pisces, if you're watching this, I'm sorry if you got any uh, hate or uh, if I sent misinformed people to you. That was not my intention. I apologize for that. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the news part of this video. All right, time to get some really interesting, awesome news. So I asked Pisces on Twitter, which I will ask him before I make any more speculation videos, if this speculation is true or not on Twitter um, if it was true that the Void High Lord was going to be similar to the new Monster Hunter class that is unreleased as of today. Uh, he says, well, let's just say my goal is for it to be on par with recent classes we've been releasing. So that's his stance right there. That's I'm not going to speculate into that. Uh, but he says it's going to be uh, on par with recent classes. Void High Lord is a recent class. Lightcaster is a recent class. Arch Paladin is a recent class. These are all recent classes that have come up. So designing it has been somewhat harder than other classes in my opinion. As for the nature of class balance, our main priority is fixing class bugs so we can launch a new server. We aren't having any serious balance slash rebalance discussions until then. Uh, probably the reason why Void High Lord isn't getting any changes. I'm not going to call it a nerf. Probably the reason why Void High Lord isn't getting any changes uh, until they're actually done with the new server rewrite. 
Uh, until then, you can tell everyone that I can confirm it's 100% true. So the official statement is it's on par with other classes that have been released recently. That's the new Monster Hunter class. Now, we don't know how you're going to get Monster Hunter class. I assume it's rank 10 Monster Hunter rep. That's probably one part of it. My opinion has changed uh, since this news came out. Uh, I used to think it was only rank 10 Monster Hunter rep. It'll probably be rank 10 Monster Hunter rep, which you can do that in like an hour easily if with, on the testing server, uh, farming the boss with the 500 rep quest, turn-ins. Uh, well, it takes more than an hour. It's like two hours. But if you're doing optimally, it can be done almost instantly in Adventure Quest time. Um, there's going to be more steps probably, I'm going to guess. Uh, boss farming for 1% drops or something similar to that. Uh, to actually get this class, it's probably not going to be that easy if it's going to be po as powerful as Lightcaster, Arch Paladin, Void Highlord, and the likes of those classes. If it's as powerful as those classes, it's probably not going to be just one rank 10 rep. Uh, that it used to be the case in Venture Quest that classes were released with just one rank 10 rep, but now these days, it's a little bit harder to get classes than it was before. Alright, let's get off this serious class balance nonsense and let's get into some art and stuff like that i don't know uh first look at arnix's new set for the three parts event starting in june uh late june i think or i don't know when it's the three parts event starting but uh, it's sometime in june that's all we know right now so it looks really sick love that cape design mm, can't wait to see that in the game here is a new house with a view very uh, sunset very a very sunset very nice sunset uh, looks really sick. Nothing else to say there. Uh, this could be the interior. Speculation. Don't get mad at Elena if it's not. I don't know. That's speculation. Uh, I don't know what that is. Is that salt? Is that salt so demons don't get you? I don't know. <laughs> Here is the list of events for June. Now it's May 25th as I'm recording this video. Uh, June is upcoming. Uh, I think we still have one more release in May. Yep, one more release in May, and then we have the June 2nd release, Book of Monsters Element of Change, uh, along with a new June upgrade bonus gear from Nolgath. Can't wait to see that. Okay, we don't know what that is, but should be pretty cool. A lot of people love Nolgath's art. Uh, June 9th, that's the Friday after this one. Kill or Cure? Oh, some quandaries. Okay. Molten Mayhem Limited Quantities set. A new Limited Quantities shop. Wow, okay. Interesting. I don't know what Molten Mayhem is. I'll probably have some more news on that in the future. Like I said, we do these every Thursday. I don't think I said that this video, but we do do the news videos every Thursday. Uh, Book of Monsters, Blood and Monsters. So another release on the Book of Monsters. Event Rares plus a Father's Day shop. All right. So Quibble's Hunt Through Time is on June 23rd, along with Quibble's Elemental Rare Shop and New Quibble Shop. Some Elemental Rares. Could be cool. I think Elemental Gear for me is really hit or miss. Sometimes it looks really sick, and sometimes it looks kind of iffy. And the last event in June, on June 30th, is part one of the three-week summer event, The Lost Princess, along with a 25% gold XP, CP, and rep boost. So that's going to be awesome if you need to level up, uh, wait until the end of June might be a good thing to do with a 25% boost that'll make it go a lot faster. If you had any items from any other of the Arctic Entertainment games and you want them to show up in Adventure Quest Worlds, make sure you reply to this tweet on Twitter. Elena has been taking it very seriously asking the names of items that people are suggesting and stuff like that. If they just show a picture, she'll be like, hey, what's the name? Because she really wants to know. So I think she's taking it pretty serious. So if you have any suggestions from items from other Artics Entertainment games you'd like to see in Adventure Quest Worlds, make sure you make it known. I reply to Elena's tweet on Twitter. Check that out on our Twitter page. Also, there's a new flamethrower. Now, they don't have weapon animations in this game. I don't know why they don't have gun animations. I, it might be a limitation of the engine. It'd be, it'd be, if you just made it so your character holds the gun to your side like this, and then had the animation come out the front when you attacked, that would be very cool. I don't know why they don't just do a still animation or maybe like a little bit of blowback. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. <laughs> Someone's gonna, okay. Um, that would be a lot better if they had an animation for it, but you know, still, it's an animated weapon using that new attack animation feature that I really like in the game. Can't wait for that to be in the game. Hopefully it's not too expensive. I'd like to buy that, but I don't think it's, it's probably like 
two, three hundred ACs worth. So if you want to use your new flamethrower on some spider wings or this owl, this scary ass looking owl, then you can definitely do that in a new release. Reen's character page has an unreleased helmet. Reen's alternate male character has also, I think, is that the same helmet? Probably not, uh, but a different helmet and a armor, uh, the dark blood style with the hooves and all that. So that is all of the news for Adventure Quest this week that I could find. I might have missed something if I did leave it in the comments for other people to find or uh, tweet that at me on Twitter. Maybe I'll retweet it. We'll see. Thank you guys for watching this video. No news on the Monster Hunter class coming out. That I bet you they're going to wait till server rewrites finish to release the Monster Hunter class. That's my speculation. Let me throw up the speculation text on the screen again. Uh, because it's not coming out all of June. At least that's what the sign notes say. They could RKO us with that out of nowhere and hit us with the class. But we don't know when that Monster Hunter class is coming out. But I'm super excited for it because if it's as good as the other classes that recently released, it's going to be amazing. Uh, leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're not ready, follow my Twitch page down below, I stream on Twitch all the time. I don't play Adventure Quest on my Twitch, a fair warning, but I do play a bunch of other games like Overwatch and uh, Player Notes Battlegrounds, games like that, League of Legends sometimes, maybe, we'll see. Uh, stuff like that on my Twitch if you want to follow me there, thank you guys for watching. That is all for today. Now, if you stuck around till the very end of this probably 10 minute long video, doing a giveaway 10,000 not 10,000 <laughs> 2k artix points which is 2k AC in adventure quests or I think it's 2k of the other currencies in the other artix entertainment games too if you would like to win that there'll be a link in the description now if I didn't put that link there that means what I'm saying right now is false and I forgot to do that uh, fake news uh, but if I remember there'll be a link in the description for a giveaway uh, you can click that link and that'll enter you into the giveaway. Do you need an email address so I can email you if you won? Of course, uh, when people, a lot of like clickbait YouTubers do fake giveaways where they just say to comment below the video because the comment helps their SEO, you don't need to comment. Uh, all you need to do is enter in the link below. Uh, yeah, so it's not, it's not just asking for comments or whatever. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace.